Hi, welcome to episode number 28. I'm Nicole. And I'm Danielle. I'm and I just want to remind our audience that we'll be taking some notes for you. So if you want to relax, sit back and listen, you can download those notes at smackhappy.com slash videos. Today, our guest is Anna Bayoun, one of our superstar designers over here at Smack Happy. Welcome, Anna. Thank you. You want to introduce yourself a little further for our audience? Sure. Um, my background was originally in fine arts. I studied uh, studio art in college, mostly painting and sculpture. Um, I decided I wanted to actually be able to support myself and make a living, so I went into the commercial side of things with graphic design. I did that for a number of years, but I kept finding myself pulled towards web design because you've got your right brain, left brain, creative coding dynamic that I found really interesting. So I moved over into web design and I do web development as well now. Been with Smack Happy for a couple of years now. Awesome. Thank you for your introduction. So today we are going to look at some websites and evaluate them and um, they're not necessarily good websites so hopefully it'll be a little educational for folks out there who are curious about what makes a good design and a bad design so should we dive in yep i will share my screen so this is website number one it is um this is the the starting screen I saw this. We don't do boring websites. It's definitely different, but I was sitting here for about a minute before I realized you click on this to enter the website. That wasn't immediately apparent to me. And then you land here. Ah. So this is actually a web design agency. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Reminds the... me a little bit of like AOL pages days. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely old school. Oh, there's navigation way down there. Yes, it is very hard to find. Yeah. And the logo is going still. <laughs> it is going. It does not stop. Then we've got this huge area here that isn't being utilized. <laughs> yeah. Well, clearly this was made for the screens we had like 15 years ago, not the large screens that we have now, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm oh also God. wondering too, I would bet that this is not uh, mobile friendly. Um, I think most of the sites you'll find are not mobile friendly. Ah. They're all a bit dated. Yeah, I guess hence that dot .htm. Yes. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. Exactly. So yeah, I mean, I there was a there was a client that I had recently who presented me with sites that they liked, um, which were older HTML sites. So this is like a perfect example of why an HTML HTML site would not be quote unquote a good one or a clean one most of the time because it's not really created for today's best practices, today's screens, today's customers. Um, so this is interesting that yeah. this is actually a web design agency too. And yeah. It's very random that um, this world map links to their email, which <laughs> kind of seemed fun and nonsensical to me. Not yeah. at all intuitive. Uh, they don't even have their own domain name, right? Like. Um. I think it is dmpweb. Oh, actually, that's a good question. The Logan yeah. Group. So I'm not sure who the company is. Yeah, uh, I think it is the Logan Group. So <laughs> I don't know what dmpweb.net is. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All so right. That's, that's website number one. This is website number two, which is. Look at that navigation. I know there's, you need a hierarchy to navigation. Otherwise you're just never going to find what you're looking for. Yeah. And that font is so hard to read. Font is yes. hard to read. It's got, well, I guess it's for a magic company. So the whole paranormal theme they've got going on. 
And you know what? That font looks like Harry Potter. Oh, does it? The Harry Potter font, yeah. Okay. I bet you that's what they were going for. See, I think that font is okay for the title because that it's bigger, mm -hmm. like right in the center there. Yeah. But for the navigation, it doesn't work because it's just too small and yeah. too busy too. Yeah. And if you scroll down, it just keeps going and going and going. There's okay. no, with a lot of these sites I've chosen, there's no clear path to follow. You don't land on the page and know where to click to find the information you're looking for. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is so unorganized. Yeah. So it seems like there's a lot of like musicians on the page too, which is confusing because this is about magic. So I was looking at it too from from that perspective and then also it doesn't look like it's been updated since 2016. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be surprised if it was updated in 2016. Yeah. Maybe the last post, the last post of the long scrolling post. Yeah. <laughs> Click on any picture below for pages within this site and they have directions. <laughs> probably an indication that they also realize that people don't know how to use the site the way they want them to. Yeah. yeah if you have to put directions on the page, that's a bad sign. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next we have this. So this is the home page. <laughs> um, if you had to put directions on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an e-commerce store. And the one positive thing I'll say about it is it definitely guides you to the process. <laughs> but you have to click a couple of times in to get to anything. You know, if you want to find out about, I don't even know how to go back to find out, I'll hit the back button <clears throat> to get to information about the company. Yeah, I would even, qu I would question, if someone sent me here, I would question the credibility of it because well number one it's not secure so especially for like e-commerce sites you should always have a security certificate or else oh well, that's a good point i didn't even notice that yeah and the credibility of the fact that you can't find out who this is like right away or what they're selling or why they're selling it yeah um, yeah it makes me suspicious of them yeah yeah, I would never trust this website, give them my credit card information, do business with them. It's very odd. It is. I've never seen a site like this. This is almost like a giant button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah One giant is. button. <laughs> yeah. So this next site is interesting because this is the Yale School of Art, oh. which you think would require a beautifully designed website. But what's interesting about this site is that any student or faculty is allowed to go in and log, log into the website and change it. So this is kind of a collaborative effort and this is what they came up with. <laughs> wow. Meaning yes. of the minds at yeah. Yale. This is definitely not something you would expect by, from a world renowned school. No. No. A part of me almost wonders if it's meant to be like ironic or something. <laughs> yeah, one of these pages, was it about the site? Yeah. Um, made use of this little social media. Can't oh, look at that. I thought that was pretty funny, but um, I can't unsee. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly hope you aren't teaching web design. Yale should be embarrassed. Yeah. I Maybe agree. it's <laughs> more of a joke. It might be more of a joke, but this is where people actually do go to find out information about the school. That's interesting. It, it should be, I wonder if they would, it would almost to me seem like it could make more sense if, you know, there was this and then there was like, okay, toggle to, the informational part of the website, right. something like that. Yeah. It has, yeah. The, you know, the yeah. other design. Yeah. 
Okay, next we have this website. Oh boy. And you could see they wanted their logo to be big, bold, front and center. And then they was like, they thought like, oh, wow, it's so big and bold, you can't see this area. So they made that big and bold. Oh, but now these aren't showing up. Let's make them move. <laughs> and then let's really make the sponsored by jump out. And then the end result you have is everything on the page jumps out. Therefore, nothing jumps out. Yep. You know what's funny about this? What? Most car websites, and this is something that I hear from my husband all the time because he's a car guy, always buying car parts. Most of them are like this. And it's really surprising because it's an industry, I think, that has money to invest like in themselves most of the time. I mean, maybe not like a mom and pop shop or something, but um, you know, if you're selling parts online, I've seen back ends of stores that, you know, they make, they make money, you know? And I think at one point there was probably somebody that had came into Smack Happy as like a lead. And, you know, we went through sort of like the process and they just didn't understand, you know, the value in doing something like this, which, which blows my mind because it's like, this is like their lifeblood really. I mean, you know, people can come in and get their cars fixed and get parts, you know, put on the car and stuff. But there's actually not a lot of money in that because you have to pay the laborer. And after all of those costs, you know, it's, it's pennies on top of, you know, just selling parts. Um, so it blows my mind that there's so many websites that are like this and they're all terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like the navigation on top of the car. That's, <laughs> that's nice special. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing the, the buyer's guide and things, maybe, I don't know if that's supposed to be a sub menu or that's just like a screw up. <laughs> I'm guessing a screw up because then it goes back over. Oh, because yeah, history is a bigger, oh, it seems like the bigger words are like oh. the main, yeah. the main navigation. I think the bigger words are just shorter. So they made them bigger to fill up the space. To fill uh, the space, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. I'm giving them too much credit. Yeah. <laughs> and what's like, you know, you would look at this and you're like, wow, I'm taken back to, you know, 20 years ago. And the Rover P6 Portugal slide or whatever that might be has 2019 on it. So, you know, they just updated it. Yeah, so they decided that this thing this was This is still me. good in 2019. This is still working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also not secure. <laughs> yeah, not secure. So I'm so not sure. A lot of that. Yeah, not sure I would actually purchase anything here. Okay, I'm super stuck on this one. Here's another point. Like car people, especially like people who are showing like classic cars and things that they, that you want to, you know, take care of and, and be really like clean and safe and garage, like no rust or anything like that. It just, for the level of attention that they want to, like that they put towards something like that, like to preserve it. You know, like you would, like to me, I would think that mentality means like, oh, I want everything to be kind of like displayed the same way, like surrounding, you know, our company, our brand. Um, but I guess not. Yeah, the, the look of your website should inspire the emotion that you want people to feel when they think of your company. Yeah. I don't think MGD, MGBD parts wants people to feel stressed and confused and overwhelmed every time they think of them. Oh, boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, what else you got? This one is, compared to the last one, it's very clean. <laughs> but what really bothers me is my eye first goes to these awards and I don't know what to do with the site until 
I get the instructions, click ship logo to enter. That's another one of those, the path you take should be obvious. Mm -hmm. So you need instructions. So you oh. Ship logo and it's like a little oil painting. Yeah. I yeah. must say the level of detail on that boat is pretty good though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you roll over it, it got um, textured. Yeah. Look at that. I did put some thought into that. <laughs> so this next one I have to refresh for you. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. I won't refresh it because it has sound. It has, I don't know if it's quotes from James Bond movies, but it has someone talking. And I ref if I refresh it, he won't be talking for the next <laughs> fight. <laughs> and that is just such a big no-no because so many people are visiting websites at work or, you know, you just don't want to disturb people around you. You don't want your boss to know that you're <laughs> online surfing. Yeah. So this website, you just don't know. I mean, I see there's something about selling tickets, but it's not at all obvious. Is the point <clears throat> informative? Is it educational about bond? Is it to sell tickets? Is it to look at dresses? It's just not at all clear to me. And it's one of these that just scrolls and scrolls endlessly. Huh. So there's a 007 museum somewhere, and this is... In... Yeah, this is... That's it's clear that it's a museum yeah. from this. But everything underneath is just unclear. It's just really unclear what the purpose of the website is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if this is the museum's website, they seriously need to invest better in this. <laughs> I, well, the URL says 007 museum. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to bet it is. Yeah, this needs some serious TLC. Like, yeah, and you could get so fun with the Bond theme. Definitely. And there could still be a way to, like, if there was a video or something that that like interactive that the person could play or look at, you know, with the quotes or maybe there's clips or something that they could share. Um, and there may be something like that. It's just where but, you know, instead of it auto playing, it's something that's right. more like entertaining, you know, for the person who's on the page and getting them excited about to, you know, about going to the museum or something. Right. And it looks like it's a, you know, big museum. I mean, that was the floor plan there, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And no, I mean, a lot of the websites I'm showing you are smaller businesses, so you think like, <laughs> hey, they don't have budgets, they can't really update, but this is a larger professional business. Yeah, but you know what, though? I mean, at this point, and I, and, you know, I'm not quite endorsing the Wixes and the Squarespaces out there, but those are relatively, like, cheap and, like, relatively easy to use for a lot of people, and I mean, you know, it comes with themes, it comes with uh, drag and drop situations and like support, depending on, you know, who you, who you buy or what you buy, but um, like tons of resources to, to, to not have to put so much time and money into it that, you know, it's the land of website page builders now. So it's, there's yeah. like really no excuse to do this yeah. stuff anymore. Yep. Yep, I agree. Okay, next we've got this one. Um, ah. It's just awfully green, and if green is their color, then go branding. <laughs> but it's incredibly difficult to read the text over the image. Then we've got these different fonts that don't match each other at all. Another font here. Um, whenever I see these blue links <laughs> for the visited links, I think, oh, that designer didn't know how to recolor a link. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's definitely not making me shine. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, you know, high quality machining. So you want something that's 
very neat, very pr precise, maybe something that's on more of a grid. This page is, you know, a little bit better. This one is oh, just... Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Someone said we should add some photos <laughs> to the page, so they just added the photos without any thought to... Oh, wow, look at that. How did they even get that one to be way over there? <laughs> I know that I'm that wondering if it's because that hero image is like pushing everything over. Yeah, I don't know. It's in the sidebar area. Yeah. If that's what we're going to call that. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. This honestly makes me want to just take all of these websites and send them an email and be like, hey, can we just like do rebuild your website for you? <laughs> I know. It's just painful to look at some of them. It's sad. And, it, you know, I mean, you know, we're looking at this with like, you know, kind of a jovial in a jovial way. But I mean, this is like a serious sort of thing for a lot of companies. Like we always say this is like the face of the face of your company and even if you feel like oh you know we're not going to get any leads or whatever i mean people judge you for this stuff so it could oh, be yeah. a matter of someone literally not calling you or reaching out to you to ask you about this or be interested in this because of the website i mean yeah. that's the first place people go right yeah it's it's an extension of your brand um you know, however you present yourself in person, your site is representing you online. Yeah. And, you know, people will go there and they'll, they'll look at it to see, you know, are you legitimate? Do you do what you say you do? Yep. Yeah. It might look this unprofessional. Hmm. That's not a good sign. And I think what more does the and more, contact us page look like? Yeah, more and more over time, I think it, people are going to get more judgy about this yeah i would like to see what they look like but the pictures are so small we've got one more over here oh, the vice president must not be that important <laughs> the vice president of operations he's the best husband and then uh, i'm not sure what else <laughs> yeah i think um if any of these websites discover this uh this talk and they contact us, we should give them a really good deal. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. That's, that's what because I Because a lot comment. of these are like super easily just translated. I mean, it's, you know, there's not a lot of complicated stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's not a lot of work into making them not even spectacular, but professional, simple and professional. Mm -hmm. clean. Yeah. Yeah. So this one, <laughs> This is just an example. So this is an exaggerated example, but I see so many websites where text goes over images and it's just not easy to read. And this is just an example of where that goes horribly awry. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even see. Okay, so I'm willing to bet that an IT person created this website. That's entirely possible. I don't know why, but I wonder if it's sort of like a thing. It's like, oh, I, I work on computers, so I know everything about like tech or computers. I've seen mm -hmm. so many IT professionals who are like so amazing at what they do. And then they're like, you know what? I'm going to give design a go. And it just doesn't logically work out usually from mm -hmm. the end result. Um, I don't want to put down every IT person out there because you definitely could be a design pro. We just don't know about you yet. Um, but I always think it's interesting. A lot of um, websites I've seen look very similar to this and the giveaway is the buttons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just because you know how to code a website it doesn't mean you should. 
there's a lot more that goes into it. I like that. That should be our new motto. <laughs> Just because you know how doesn't mean you should. But yeah. I think what also happens with IT people is whoever they're talking to also lump us all together. Mm -hmm. Like you could be having someone work on your computer and they assume that you know how to do websites or like mm -hmm. with us, people might assume that we know how to fix your computer. Oh yeah. That's a definite yeah. fact. Yeah. I still have um, people out there that should know what I do by now and still believe that I'm, you know, bona fide support IT support. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how do I turn on my computer? You know computers. How do I turn it on? How do I fix this virus? Why is my email uh, getting spam? You know, things like that. It's like, you know, I think in the nature of who we are as Mac happy, you know, we try to help everybody too that, that does have those questions. But, um, you know, when someone in your personal life still doesn't quite know the summary, the elevator pitch of like what we do at this point, so it's a good, it's a good, that's a good point. A lot of generalizations happen. I think when you work with, with technical things, they just think, you know, all of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So next one is this one. Oh my gosh. My eyes is an exaggeration of what we see a lot of, which is people just putting way too much content onto a page. Yeah. yeah. And that sidebar is, ew. Just that you have to scroll so far to see the navigation menu. Oh, that's a It's lot. almost like every product is in there. Mm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's an, also an example of, you know, maybe when they started the site, it was simpler, but over time you just add more and more oh, info okay. as your company evolves. And then it's not organized anymore because you just keep adding stuff without really thinking about where it should go. Yeah. Yeah. That happens a lot. Another thing that I hope that isn't important is that top line there. Cause I can't read that or I have a hard time reading it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually should be like the selling feature top mm -hmm. brand of gate openers, dot, 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 we are manufacturers of custom gates. Um, mm -hmm. That should just kind of be the lead in to the website with a paragraph of text below and then some clear, easy to follow navigation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They don't really have a logo either. It's just mm -hmm. their name in red. <laughs> yeah. Well, that'd be a really cool logo to design though, like an ornamental fence. Mm. Yeah, yeah, there mm -hmm. could be some really interesting logo attached to that. Yep. And then the last one I've got is, at first glance, um, <laughs> much, much better than the others. You know, it's the design looks a little bit more modern. But the reason I added this is based on your browser size, these I don't know if you can see me resizing these eyes, these faces get cut off. I want to see the little kids. <laughs> yeah, that and is. There is that and the color palette really jumped out at me. You know what? Mm -hmm. And it still could be a fun color palette, but just yeah. kind of arranged differently. This one is so close to being decent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just needs some tweaks. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Penny juice. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. Because, well, look, and it, it seems like this is a good, good sort of, uh, well, let me see if I can try to understand what this is. So it's specifically designed for child care centers. What, what is the? I think that just means they sell in bulk. Child care juice. Maybe like rebranding, like the way they talk about. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know if I'd necessarily look for child care juice, yeah. you know, when I'm looking for something to buy for my child care facility. Right. 
healthy juice con so maybe they're healthier they're like specific blends and sizes maybe that's actually really interesting <laughs> it's secure too yeah and I also think too why is it called penny juice I mean, I get the, the funny pun. It's like penny juice, it makes sense. But I'm thinking literally of like coppery pennies, like inside of juice. You know, it's not really like an appetizing thing, especially for children. Right. Um, but maybe if there was a, um, an ex, like why penny juice? You know, maybe there's a really cool story behind it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be an um, interesting bit of content to add. You're running a child care center, want to serve healthy beverages to kids every day. And yeah, that makes sense. Twitter. The feed. label design is interesting too. I can see they like Comic Sans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big no no. This I haven't looked into, but I'm guessing they used a pre built theme and just didn't have the skill set to tweak it to fit. Right. Their content. Yeah. Well, there are tools out there that you can use too for easily doing something without having any knowledge of Photoshop or GIMP. GIMP is something I started using whenever I was learning to mm -hmm. make, you know, design tweaks and things like that. But um, that's um, like an open source version of. Yeah. Photoshop, so it's free. I think you just make a donation. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, yeah, this has been fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, so after looking at all of those, what, Anna, what inspires you the most? Um, well, honestly, all of these websites are inspiring me as a challenge. I love to make things beautiful. I love to make them clean and functional and easy to navigate. I love just when they make sense when you visit a website and you know what to do and what you're supposed to get from the website. So sites like these really inspire me to, I just want to contact these business owners and attack their sites. Yeah, and help them. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. I agree. Well, thank you for joining us today. This was really fun. And uh, if you want to work with Anna, you can contact us at smackhappy.com. And anything else you want to say before we sign off? No, I think that's about it. All right. I think I would just want to say if there's anybody who is out there who has a website that looks like this, um, I hope it was more of an eye opening or if it's one of these companies even that ends up seeing this by chance, but I hope that it's more of like, you know, understood that we're not quite, you know, making fun of things. Um, but you know, trying to make something positive out of something that might not be as positive for your business when it comes to the website and that we're here for you or um, I mean, even just for advice, you know, just to point you in the right direction of maybe something you might be thinking or planning, you know, for the future. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say, just in case. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for adding that. Yeah. All right. Thank you to our audience for joining the Smack Happy video cast. We aim to help elevate your business through real life experience and advice. Until next time. See ya. Bye.